So if 12.93 grams of sodium bromide is dissolved in 150 grams of water, the question is, what will the freezing temperature of the solution be? Um, in order to solve this problem, we need a couple of equations we learned about yesterday. We need this equation, change in temperature of freezing is equal to the Van Hoff factor times the freezing point constant for water times the molality of the solution. And we need the equation where we have the change in temperature is equal to the final temperature minus the initial temperature. Well, this, um, this is how you solve that homework problem. That's what I'm about to go over now, is how to solve that homework problem. Okay? So, uh, we need to figure out what I is. We, we can look up K sub F, and we need to calculate what the molality is of this solution. Okay? Well, molality is um, one of the forms of um, solutions that falls in this category where we have the amount of solute over the amount of solvent. The specific units we want to get to will be moles of solute and kilograms of solvent. <coughs> but we're simply going to start solving the problem by putting whatever amount of solute appears in the problem, that's the 12.93 grams of sodium bromide, on top of whatever amount of solvent is listed in the problem, that's 150 grams of water. Right, now I haven't yet shown you how to uh, determine the formula for sodium bromide. Hopefully most of you can do that, but <coughs> excuse me, just to be safe, let's do that here. So sodium put together with bromide, bromide means it's a bromine, and it, if it's ionic it'll be negative, okay? Well we have a metal and non-metal combination, so that's ionic, and yes, then this has to be negative. Okay, so this bromide ion uh, will have a negative charge. So you look on your periodic table with oxidation numbers. That's one of your test references you're given in this class. And you'll find that sodium has a 1 plus charge and bromine has a 1 negative charge. You know sodium is a metal. You should know it because it's on the left-hand side of the periodic table. And bromine is a non-metal because it's on the right-hand side. On either the, the, the break point is that stair-step shape. Well, since I have a 1 plus here, and a one negative here, these particles are going to add together to give me a zero charge overall. So what I need is a one to one ratio. So the formula then comes out to be NaBr, and that's sodium bromide. Alright, so to get my solute amount into moles, I need to calculate the molar mass of the compound. So we need to add the, uh, the sum of all the atomic masses of all the atoms in the formula. So we're going to add up the sum of all the sodiums, and there's only one. The atomic mass is 22.989769. Atomic mass of bromine is 79.904. 79 79.904. Oh. oh, I left the 9 off the end of this. I'm sorry. Okay. We have one of each of these. And this is one of those cases where neatness counts because it helps you to be able to tell when you have empty slots in your addition, as we have here, here, and here. So we add these numbers together, uh, we're going to need to um, round off the last three digits. Yeah. 
Yes, after we round it off. That's true. An equality statement is required. So the equality statement will be grams of that sodium bromide equals one mole of that sodium bromide. And then from this equality statement, we can build a conversion unit that will allow us to convert from grams to moles. And the way that works is you're going to put the side of the equality statements that matches the units and species of this part right here. You can put that matching part down here at the bottom. Yes. Did you? You know what? You're right. It is three, isn't it? So this should be a four here. Okay. I don't know. I probably put put some punch some number in the calculator incorrectly. Yeah. Okay, and so the other side of the equality statement is going to go on the top, one mole in ABR. <clears throat> and so we can cancel then grams. We can cancel the species sodium bromide. And we already have now our solute in moles. And that's what we want for molality. We want the solute in moles. Now we need to get our solvent into kilograms. We need an equality statement for that. And that's an equality statement you just have to memorize. There are a thousand grams in one kilogram. Okay? So from that equality statement then we want to put grams from the equality statement on the top because the grams are on the bottom here. And the one kilogram goes on the bottom. And we can cancel grams here. And what's left then are kilograms of the water. That's our solvent. We have the denominator in the correct form then. So we're ready to do this math now. What did you get? 0 0.8 what? 3599. Okay. The units we have left then are moles of NABR. And we have on the bottom kilograms of water. Okay. And we need to round off to the correct number of significant digits. Well, I think there should be four. Of the measured and calculated numbers, and there are three measured and calculated numbers. This one's measured, this one's measured, this one's calculated. Yeah. Those are the ones we look at to figure out the significant digits. Well, the one with the least digits has four. Both of these have four. Zeros following a decimal place and a non-zero digit are significant. Zeros between two significant digits are also significant. So both these zeros are significant. All right, so we want to count. Now, leading zeros are not significant. So that's not a significant zero there. This is the first significant digit, one, two, three, four. We underline everything else. Draw an arrow. That's the operator that shows we are rounding off. We round it off to 0 0.837. The 5 here makes the 7 round up to an 8. And since moles of solute over kilograms of solvent is molality, we can simply write a small letter M for that. But we need to say that it's the NABR or in a BR solution. Okay, so that's our morality. Now that's just one starting place because now we have just this term. Okay, so we can start plugging in numbers for these terms. All right? No, we're just done with the morality right now. All right, the second part is to plug in the terms we have here.